Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Today we will talk about SQL equivalent for DAX measures in Power BI. And we'll know more about XM SQL and the Vertipak engine. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. Many people ask about the equivalent SQL query for a DAX measure. Today I will show you the way how you can understand DAX in SQL equivalent language. In this Contoso data model, I have these tables, and I will first write a very simple DAX measure, and we'll see how Vertipak Engine, which is the engine behind Power BI data model converts the DAX query to a SQL-like language called XM SQL. Let's create a simple total sales measure, using a sum x DAX expression. This function will iterate over sales table, and will provide the sum of the multiplication of unit price and the quantity. I can use this measure in a card visual. This is very important to notice here that as of now, I don't have any filter on this page. To see how Vertipak Engine is converting this to XM SQL to query the Columnar database, I need to open DAX Studio. And there I can evaluate this same measure by using any table function, like I am using row function. I can add the same measure and click on server timing, and then run the query. I can see the results in results tab, but if I click on server timing, I see formula engine, storage engine timing, and with that I also see the XM SQL query for my DAX query here, and this language is used by the Vertipak engine, you can relate this with SQL as it is almost same. In its format. I have posted a video about timing spent on FE and SE engine, but in this video, we will only focus on this XM SQL query. Now I am using the same measure in a table visual, but I have brand as the first column of this table visual. But wait, how is this calculating total sales for each brand? While nowhere, I have mentioned about brand in my DAX measure. This is happening because DAX is using the relationship between product and the sales table, and filter applied on brand is being applied to the sales table. So for each brand, sales table is already filtered for that particular brand for further calculation and that is called evaluation context for this DAX expression. Using Performance Analyzer, I can copy the Visual's DAX query and will check its equivalent XM SQL code. By the end of this video, you will clearly understand about how DAX measure works and how to understand it in SQL-like language. As that you can see, it is first storing the multiplication and then sending the select statement, but here it is using a left outer join with product table. In DAX, we don't need to mention these join statements, but only need to think about the relationships and the filter directions. Let's increase a little more complexity of the DAX measure. So now I will create a running total over each date and see its equivalent X and SQL code. Till now it was all good, but now you will see the differences. I have created the measure and I will use date as my first column in my table visual. I can again copy the DAX query set by this visual to the engine and check its equivalent XM SQL code. Till the time you might have noticed that these calculations are dynamic and dependent on its environment under which this is being calculated. Let's run this new query with running total and see its equivalent query. As that you can see, this time it is scanning the table multiple times and most of the load is on formula engine. The first query is similar to the previous one, only this time there is a left join with the date table. In the second scan it is asking for all the dates separately, and then in the third scan it will evaluate the max date from this date list. The next step is important, and you will notice that apart from a left join operation, it is using here a WHERE clause, and then keeping manual dates values. So why is this? We will find that, but look at this query, it is using a hard-coded max value to compare with. If you are confused, don't worry, I will make sure your doubts will get cleared in a while. You can see here, our running total measure was very simple, and it did not hold any information about all those required joins and other operations, and that's why we say that DAX works on evaluation context. Means, measures are not evaluated unless they are used in the report, and once they are used, it will first look at its surroundings means what are all filters available on the report page or at the visual, and then visuals will send a combined DAX query to evaluate. As I am applying these extra filters, my same measures are automatically calculating based on the context. So if I will look at the XM SQL query, each time it will try to find the overall values of filters and then will create the equivalent query. It means at machine level it is fine, 
and it can convert these dynamic filters into corresponding query, but it is not possible to manually store all these things. All stored values will become static, like a rank based on total sales. Notice here, it is manually applying the selected countries and brand in where clause. Also, you can see all the left joins with required tables. So, the conclusion is, you can understand how DAX is being converted to the corresponding XM SQL query, and you can understand all those steps. But it is not worth to actually find the replacement of DAX measures in SQL form, because all those values will become static, and these measures are working based on filters applied on the report. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting solutions in Power BI.